Hi, my name is Caroline Jackman and I'm here today with Cassia Stewart and we are the Talent Development Managers for the Crafts Council to chat about Hot House and what it means for makers. So Katia, what's Hot House? So Hot House is the Crafts Council's programme for emerging craft makers um, and when I say emerging I mean craft makers who've set up their practice within the last four years. Um, and it's a professional development program, so helping makers with that sort of business side of running a craft practice. So it's training sessions covering things like um, marketing and finding the audience for your craft, um, business planning, finance, costing and pricing, and it's complemented with some um, support from a mentor who's usually a sort of craft sector expert or an expert in their field. And how long is it for? So it's a six month program, it runs from February to July. Um, and the mentor is introduced towards the end of those six months and you'll have until the end of the year to have your time with your mentor. Great. Is it full time? No, so it's usually about sort of two, maximum three days in a month and those are full days, ten till five. So it does require some time away from the studio to attend and participate in Hot House. And what's the catch? How much is it going to cost? <laughs> okay, so it costs £35 to apply and that's just an administration fee and to participate in the program it costs um, £200 per person. It's heavily subsidised, the program itself costs us about £5,000 per person to deliver, so it is a subsidised um, cost. There's also a small travel bursary available for makers who are participating in the program as well. Great, okay, sounds reasonable. So how do I apply? Okay, so you can apply online, it's an online form. Uh, we're asking you questions like, uh, what's your name, the name of your practice, what you make, um, your address, you know, all those basic questions. We'll ask to see a, a CV, um, some images, and we also have some uh, longer answered questions that are covering things like, what, do you, what would you like to get out of that house, and what have you done so far to kind of set up and establish your practice. Um, yeah, great. And images. Did I say images? I haven't said images. Okay, images. Yeah. So we also ask for six images and image descriptions, and those are really super important. And what do you mean by super important? Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, so when we're shortlisting and selecting makers, it's all done anonymously. So we don't look in the early stages of shortlisting and selection. We don't look at, at people's names on the applications. We're just looking at the six images and the six image descriptions that you provide with that. There's lots of information in the guidance documents about what we're looking for in images and what we're looking for in the description. But very simply, we want clear images without clutter around. You might want to provide lifestyle shots. So if it's jewelry, providing an image of it on a model. Um, and the descriptions we wanted to kind of cover things like, what is it, what's it made out of, how much does it cost, um, when it was made, where it was made, all of those things. Okay. So you were talking about an application form. Yes. What if I don't actually like writing? <laughs> yeah. So we, you will have to do a little bit of writing because you still have to write in kind of what your name is and you know, you know if you've got a website and all of that um, and attach some documents. But the the kind of the questions that are what do you want to get out of Hot House? Those kind of longer answer questions. If you don't like writing all of that information you can record yourself like we are now and provide a link to a video so that could be a, a link to Vimeo or YouTube or another kind of um, video platform um, and just record your answers but just make sure you're, asking, you're answering the question um, that we're asking in your answers yeah and just on that we're just filming this on an iPhone so <laughs> it is quite straightforward um, so hopefully you'll find it so if you want to choose that option which is great um, so uh, when do the applications open? They're open now, hey. uh, 2nd of July. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're open uh, from now until the 9th of September. Um, at 12 noon we'll close that day. So there's a long period of time, but I would recommend not leaving it until the end, uh, right until the end. Um, read the guidance properly before you apply. Make sure that you're eligible for the program um, and spend, you know, spend time working on your application. And how do you select? So we go through a selection process where we bring in lots of external um, perspectives. It's not just Caroline and I doing it. Um, we work with um, uh, specialist craft galleries, people who work in the craft sector, um, people who are retailers of craft, and they help us with that shortlisting and selection process. They look at images and they look at image descriptions and they provide their kind of feedback on, on their thoughts. Um, and then we also do an interview process as well. 
interview that sounds daunting it's not daunting. well okay some people do and I, <laughs> I find it daunting and i understand that it can be a little bit scary but it really is just, it's meeting us and having a chat with us and being able to bring your craft with you it's so that we can see it in person we can talk to you about it and so that we can find out if you're you're sort of at the right point in your practice for um doing hot house and to find out if you're you're ready i suppose I read somewhere that there is a guaranteed interview scheme. Does that mean I can just definitely go straight to interview? So, yes and no. <laughs> um, if you decide, to, uh, so there, we're trying to make the program as accessible and uh, to, as possible to lots of different makers. Um, and we, we've got a guaranteed interview scheme in place for disabled makers and for makers who identify as um, black, Asian, minority, or ethnic. Um, and so if you tick a box that says you want to be considered under that scheme, you have to meet the quality criteria for the programme. So we do um, have quite a high quality standard for the, for the Hot House programme, so you have to meet that to be eligible for that guaranteed interview scheme. If you tick that box and you meet the quality criteria, you will be guaranteed an interview. So maybe we need to talk a little bit more about quality, what we mean yeah. by quality. Okay, so uh, quality. We're looking for um, makers to have so first of all you can look at examples of who's been on the program before to see examples of that high quality of making you can go to the hot house pages and scroll down to the bottom and say and uh, click on the button that says the story so far and that has examples of who's been on the program before um, we're looking for makers who have um, who can show us good hand making skills control over that finished item you could be outsourcing a little bit and working with a mill if you're a textile maker or um, you could be doing some small batch production but we want ultimately for you to have control over the making process and that kind of finished item we also want people to be thinking about kind of where it fits within the kind of marketplace for craft but also to have developed the work um, and thought about the sort of design and making process and really developed it and put their sort of individual style and stamp on it um, have I said everything there? Yeah, I think, I think you've covered everything. <laughs> I think actually um, that's probably covered everything. And there's lots and lots of information on our guidance documents or you can email us at makerdev at craftscouncil.org.uk. But if you find through all of this that a uh, hothouse is not for you, um, we have lots of other ways we can support you and your businesses. And we do that through online resources, on our website through the talent development overview page or we've got monthly social live films um, like working with galleries or how to export those sorts of things lots of topics um, also one-to-one -one advice sessions where you can come and have a chat with myself or Katia but for now do look at uh, the Hot House guidance documents and we look forward to receiving your application thank you